What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Black and Red Builds channel. I got a cool build here today. This one just came in today. I've been waiting on this. Uh, you already know from the description, but this is the Roker Marble, the new Roker Marble Run. The Parallel World Series, The Last City. This is one of two that they've brought out. They have all one also called The Future City. I decided to go with The Last City. Uh, when I seen this, I just I, I had to get it. This is just such a cool looking model. Uh, if you've been around the channel for very long, if you're a subscriber, uh, then you know that I am a fan of the Roker models. The wooden models, you pop them out of the boards and build them. I built quite a few of them and uh, one of my best builds on here was the Roker pinball machine. And if you haven't seen that yet, I'll leave a link to it right up here uh, so you can check that one out. But this again is the uh, Roker Marvel run. Now, I have worked with Roker a few times. They've sent me some things. Uh, I got this one myself. This was a crowd sharing project that they did. They've done that a few times. I'm not sure why they do it that way, but they have done it more than once. Uh, but this one was funded pretty quickly and uh, Yeah, from what I hear a lot of people are wishing they gotten both of them. You can get two uh, Of these and they connect together. You can connect I believe up to four of them together. Maybe more I don't know you might be able to just keep connecting them together uh, I'm not really sure about that, but uh, I want to go ahead and get into this and check it out Let's look at the box. Let's open it up and see what we got. So let's go ahead and get up top and get this thing open all right, guys, here it is. Let's go ahead and right off the bat, let's get this plastic off. It won't be so shiny and glaring. So let's get that plastic off so we can see the box better. There we go. That's better. We don't have the glare on it anymore. All right, starting right here on the front. Again, this is the Parallel World Series. Uh, this one's called The Last City, and this is the part number right here. It is MR01S. A DIY powered model. This is for ages 14 and up. It has LED lighting all through it, so it'll light all up. It has 187 centimeters of track. The assembly time on this one is 90 minutes. So let's go ahead and uh, over to the side here. Now, if you can see here, it has a door that opens on the front, so you can uh, you know fix things or whatever you need to do inside. I believe the power button is also inside. This has one of the brass touch power buttons. All right, now on the back here, you can see here, they have four of them connected together. They'll connect horizontally and they'll connect vertically. The way they are, it looks like you could just continue to connect them together. I don't know if that's the case. I believe it says you can connect four together, but right now they have only two different ones. So if you're gonna connect four of them together, you're gonna have to get multiple of the same one. I'm not sure if they're going to be producing more of these, I know as of right now, you cannot get this on the website yet. So uh, right now you can't purchase this. This was uh, only available through the crowdfunding. And uh, if you didn't get it on there, you can't you can't get it uh, right now. As, as of today that I've checked, as of the posting of this video, uh, you're not gonna be able to get this just yet, but I'm sure it's gonna be available at the stores. I, I, I'm not saying that, that to be an absolute fact, but I don't know why it wouldn't be. Uh, this one is a level three out of five stars in difficulty. Uh, very cool, man. It has all kind of moving parts and things. This has a um, kind of a, a cyberpunk look to it. It's like a city scene uh, with the neon lights and everything. So, uh, I mean, I really love that kind of stuff. So this should be pretty neat. I've seen some pretty good reviews on it already. Uh, if you come down here... Uh, you have your, um, you know, the addresses and everything of Roker. RoboTime is the is the main company. Roker is a kind of a division of that company. And uh, this has a Type C power cord included. That's how this runs with an input of five volts or one amp minimum, which is a pretty low uh, amount of power to run this. And one amp is uh, is not a very powerful. So most of your charging uh, situations should work for this. Let's go over to the side here. You can see again how these connect together. Build them all and connect them together. Again, there's two right now. All right, let's go ahead and get this lid off and see what we got inside. Here off the bat, right on top, it looks like we have our build manual here. The assembly instructions. Let's kind of get a quick look inside this. 
Now, you know, as, as I've said before, most Roker builds are uh, wooden models, and this one is all plastic and metal, so that is a little bit different, and I believe a lot of parts in sprues. Yep, I see the sprues here. So here is your part list. I like that it's separate, so you don't have to keep going back to it, so that's kind of nice that it is separate. Uh, looks like we got some uh, city scenes here that's going to be part of it. And here are some sprues for the pieces, molded, all already colored and everything. That looks like that's the door, so you're looking at kind of the size of it right there. It's not a massive model. I believe it is 9 inches tall by 7 inches wide by 3 inches deep. So they're not huge, but again, they're meant to be stackable. So if you put two of them, now you got an 18-inch tall model um, marble run, so... The more pieces here, more sprues and stuff. Get all of these out. Looks like we have the box in here. Looks like we have uh, just more ramps and things. All the bags are nicely numbered. And even more sprues of parts. This looks like the main body of it, the box here. Here so we got in this little box. Okay, yeah, this looks like all of our electronics here, lights and everything. We've got a pair of these like nail clipper, like angled nail clipper clippers here. I've gotten these before and some of these builds. Uh, I would suggest getting some proper spruce snips. They'll work much better. But uh, if you if you don't have them, these, these should work just fine. Uh, we've got our marbles in here. And it looks like it also comes with a tool kit. Looks like a screwdriver, and I'm not sure about this tool. I haven't seen that one before. It's a little bit different. And your uh, USB Type-C cable here. And that is a Type-C to Type-C, so you're going to need a Type-C to plug that into. Set that to the side. And we got one more box in here, and this should be the lift heel. Yep, this is the lift heel. And I believe it has its own instructions here for the lift heel. And uh, gears and all the pieces here. For building the lift hill. All right, guys, that is all the pieces and parts that are in the box. So let's go ahead and get this out of the way and let's get started.
All right, guys, we are all done with The Last City, the new Roker Marble Run, and it is right here. This thing is really cool, man. I I tell you what, um, when I first saw this, that it was going to be available, and I saw the size of it, I thought, man, that thing is too small. It's tiny. That's what she said. Seven inches, uh, nine inches by seven inches by three inches. It's just... It's too small, but it's perfect. Guys, this thing is the perfect size. It really is. You know, these are for sitting on a desk or something and watching. And uh, if it was much bigger than this, um, it, it would probably just be too big. And, and, you know, they're designed to connect together. So you imagine having four of them connected. It's going to be pretty darn big. Now, the assembly of this went... Pretty good. It was, it was it was actually a pretty nice assembly. I really enjoyed building this. The instructions are very clear. Now, what I will say is make sure you pay attention to the instructions because there are multiple different ways to assemble this depending on how you're going to configure it if you're connecting it together with other marble runs. Um, but if you're doing it just for a standalone marble run, you want to make sure you're just following that as you flip through. Now, generally, uh, in the guide, if it's going to be configured differently from just standalone, as you can see here, it's highlighted in yellow. So make sure you're basically following all of the white pages. And when it's highlighted in yellow, you're going to skip those steps because that is for configuring it in a different configuration. Now with that being said, you're going to have a lot of extra parts because depending on how you configure this, you might have the marble coming out this side over here or this side over here. So however you configure this, it's going to change slightly because the marble needs to run a different direction. So uh, just pay attention to that. Make sure you keep all your extra parts because I guarantee you when you get this built, you're going to want more of them because I do. Now, this is not available right now. You cannot purchase this anywhere, not even on their Kickstarter page right now. The Kickstarter ended for this, but they are bringing it to their regular website. Uh, when that is, I'm not absolutely sure. They just say keep an eye on the website. Uh, they will be bringing it to the website. Now, I do wish I had bought both of these. I only purchased the one. Uh, you could have gotten both of them in a little package deal for slightly cheaper for a little bit of a discount. But I only purchased the one. I wish, I wish, I wish I would have purchased both of them. Uh, because after building this one, this, guys, is absolutely my favorite, favorite marble run by Roker that I've built yet. This thing's awesome. It just is awesome. And I have mine running flawlessly if you turn it on it will run for 10 minutes continuously and then it shuts off so i ran it three times in a row ran it for 30 minutes continuously without a single jam no marbles popping off no issues whatsoever but more than likely guaranteed that's not how it's going to be when you first finish this model uh you're going to have issues with the model with the marbles hanging up in the play field you're probably going to have issues with the lift hill with the getting stuck so they do have a video uh in the manual there is a qr code for you to scan and it will take you to a video for troubleshooting the lift hill if you're having issues with the lift hill with the marble sticking now i assembled my lift hill perfectly i didn't have any problems with the operation of it but it would stop it would just move and it would move kind of slow and then it would stop and uh, i would have to keep restarting it and it would move a little bit and then it would stop and what i found was when i took all the marbles back out of it it ran perfect and it ran strong i could put my fingers on the little lift hill things and they ran very strong so i started loading the marbles back into it i, I put in 12 marbles and i stopped it comes with 15 I put 12 in and I stop. When I have all 15 in there, that's when it does that. So it runs perfectly with only 12 marbles in it. So I think what happens is they bunch up in the bottom and it kind of hinders the operation in there. So uh, fix that issue completely by only putting 12 marbles in it and it runs flawlessly.
Now on the ramps, there's a couple of places where uh, I had a hang ups and one was in the very top. The very first ramp, they would just kind of bunch up there now, as they would come out and they would start pushing them. So I had to just kind of adjust the height of that first part of the ramp where the marble first comes in. I had to just kind of get under there and adjust the height up just a, just a hair on that to get the marbles to rush out a little quicker. If you go up too high, it'll uh, stop the marbles from being able to get in. They come through a little hole and they, they'll hit the edge of that ramp. So you got to lift it just a little bit, but not too much that the marbles are hitting it. And when I did that, that ramp now works flawlessly, no issues there. Now the second hang up is the very second ramp. There's a red, white, and blue canopy, I'm sorry, a red and white canopy underneath. And then there's the ramp. And then there's the little sign that says entertainment. Now where the marble drops through, it hangs up there. And it talks about this in the, in the uh, manual that uh, you can get hang ups there. And a lot of people are having that issue. So some people are going in and they're taking the ramp out and they're slicing just a little bit of the plastic off to get the marble to be able to drop through. But you don't need to do that. I didn't have to do that on mine. And the way it works is it's a three piece ramp. So there's the red and white canopy and then there's the ramp that the marble runs down and then there's the beginning of the ramp. Uh, right here where these two connect, it's, it connects kind of like this, and that forms the hole for the marble to drop through. So all you got to do is get in there and just hold the red and white canopy part and pull on that ramp and just give it just a slight separation. Just a hair is all it needs. And then that gives enough clearance for that marble to drop through. That's all I did, and mine works absolutely flawlessly now. So anyways, guys, it is a beautiful model. Uh, let me put a little bit of the uh, action of it running right here so you can see it operating for yourself.
All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. It is a lot of fun. You can get lost in this thing. It's got so many different routes that the marble can take, dropping down, going down chutes, coming out through underneath the infinity mirror, making it look like it's kind of warping out of there. Uh, you can just sit and just stare to this thing forever and just really just let your imagination go with it. I love the theme of it, that whole futuristic cyberpunk city. It's just so cool and uh, absolutely my favorite Roker Marvel run that they've built so far. And I'm absolutely loving it. And I wish I'd also gotten the Future City one as well. Now, the Future City one has not shipped yet. If you guys have ordered it, they're still in production. Um, the last thing I'd seen a couple of days ago, they hadn't started production of it yet. Uh, but I, I'm sure, you know, that it's going to happen soon that they're going to start producing uh, that one to ship out. So right now, the only one available is The Last City and that is this one that I have here. So, uh, and that is not available if you did not already purchase it uh, through their crowdfunding. So, you cannot get this yet if you did not already purchase it through their crowdfunding. It is not available anywhere unless someone might be selling one on eBay or something that they picked up. But other than that, uh, I wouldn't pay the extra money for it. Uh, if that's the case, I believe this is around $65 or something like that, U.S. dollars. Um, I'm not absolutely sure about that. I can't remember exactly, but I think that's about what it's going to be uh, when it is for sale on their website. So uh, hopefully, maybe, I have worked with Roker before in the past. Uh, they'll send me some of their new models to build on the channel. Uh, hopefully, when the new one comes out and it is available, maybe they'll send it to me. Uh, if you're listening, Roker, send that one to me and I will build it on here as well. Because I would like to see them running together. I want to see how they work together. Because just one alone is already like sensory overload, man. I mean, there's just so much going on in it. So I can't imagine four of these all going at the same time. Uh, that would just be epic. But anyways, guys, I hope you appreciated this video. Uh, if you like this marble run, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and then stroll right over there and hit that subscribe button. It helps the channel out immensely. And I'll see you guys next time. I'm True Solo and this is Black and Red Builds. See you. Woo! Now that is a whole lot of fun right there.